Hello, I'm Patrick Brown, Mayor of your great city. The Nurturing Neighborhoods Program is a direct result of your input into the 2040 vision. Understanding how our neighborhoods work for you, our residents, is what this program is all about. Take the virtual walk today, then share your thoughts in a survey or by identifying places in your neighborhood by commenting on our virtual map. Thank you for your continued participation. The strength of our city is when, the, is when the citizens are engaged. And this project of nurturing neighborhoods is to make sure uh, that we build a city where your voice is heard. It's your neighborhood. It's your backyard. Tell us what we need to work on. Tell us what is working well. Tell us what we need to fix. This is democracy in action. It's our Nurturing Neighborhoods program. Thank you for your participation. Welcome to the 2020 Nurturing Neighborhoods Virtual Walk. I'm Rowena Santos, your Regional Counselor. By going online, the program continues to connect you to resources and empowers you to play an active role in enhancing our neighbourhoods. We want to thank our program sponsors. Both Electra and Enbridge have been eager to be part of this program. We appreciate their commitment to our community and financial support. We look forward to working with more and more residents every year. Have a great walk. Hello, I'm Paul Vicente, your Regional Counselor. I'm very happy to have you take part in this virtual walk of your neighborhood. The Nurturing Neighborhoods program is a way to connect you with resources to make our neighborhoods even better. We'd like to acknowledge our program partners, the Region of Peel, Credit Valley Conservation, Toronto and Region Conservation Authority, and Peel Regional Police, who all take an active part in this program. Enjoy the walk, everyone. Thank you all for joining us today. We are so glad you can make it and accompany us on this exciting journey through your neighborhood. While some residents may refer to this area as Mount Pleasant South, for the purpose of this walk today, we are referring to it as Credit Valley. We begin our tour at David Suzuki Secondary School. David Suzuki, named after the famous Canadian environmental activist, is located at 45 Davis Elm Drive. Ever since opening up in 2011, the school has been dedicated to developing a collaborative community of individuals who are strong environmental stewards capable of taking action in the real world. Ponds like Heliotrope Pond provide two primary services. First, they retain the runoff before releasing it into streams, and secondly, they release the water at flow rates and frequencies similar to those that existed under natural conditions. The Churchville Tributary is one of three sub-watersheds in the Credit Valley area. A watershed is the area of land that catches rain and snow and drains into a marsh, stream, river, lake, or groundwater. Watersheds are the collectors, filters, and storage compartments of our fresh water supply. A tributary is a component of the overall basin. The river or stream flows into a larger river or lake. The Churchville tributary, in particular, feeds into the Credit River. Jennings Park is located at 49 Parity Road on the corner of Parity Road and Buchanan Crescent. Did you know, in 2019, nearly 175,000 individual flowers were planted. On June 24, 2005, the City of Brampton received a development proposal to permit a residential subdivision development consisting of single detached dwellings, semi-detached dwellings, two school blocks, a place of worship, two park blocks, a woodlot, two channel blocks, and two stormwater management ponds. The development was divided into four phases in which the fourth and final phase is still pending. Active transportation refers to all human-powered forms of travel, such as walking, cycling, inline skating, skateboarding, and more. To read more on the Brampton Active Transportation Master Plan, visit www.brampton.ca slash ATMP.
Some of the open spaces in our parks are underutilized. How do you use this space? How would you like to see this space utilized? Do you know a yoga or fitness instructor in your neighborhood? Open space around parks provide great opportunity for organized neighborhood activities. Hydro Corridor, or Hydro Right of Ways, serve a main purpose for delivering safe, reliable, and affordable electricity. In addition to providing power to the city, there are paths and trail systems connecting neighborhoods together and people to services. Summerdale Place Plaza is found on the intersection of Williams Parkway and James Potter Road. Summerdale Place Plaza is an example of neighborhood retail. Neighborhood retail is a group of retail establishments that generally range from 3,700 to over 11,000 square feet and are typically anchored by a supermarket, but may also be anchored by a pharmacy or smaller scale home improvement outlet. Located at 341 Williams Parkway, is Norman Price's Pond. This 2.23 hectare stormwater management pond was constructed in 2007 to prevent damage via rainfall. Urbanization reduces the amount of water that can be absorbed into the ground through increase of impervious or hard surfaces such as roads, driveways, sidewalks, walkways, patios and roofs. The impervious surfaces increase the amount of stormwater runoff flowing into our water courses that, if left uncontrolled, can result in increased risks to flooding, erosion, and harm water course health and aquatic life. The strongest neighborhoods are built by the people that live there. If you could change or add one thing about your neighborhood, what would it be? Several neighborhoods across the city have organized neighborhood associations or groups to talk about and tackle issues in their neighborhood and create positive change. A neighborhood association is a great way to meet your neighbors and mobilize on similar initiatives. Located at 44 Lapman Crescent is the beautiful LaFleur McClure House. The Ontario Heritage Act authorizes the Council of Municipalities to enact bylaws to designate a property to be of cultural heritage value or interest. A heritage designation prohibits the alteration of a property to preserve its historical significance. Part of the cultural heritage value of the LaFleur Farmhouse is related to its design or physical value to the mid to late 19th century house. This property adds a unique and intrigue to its neighbors. To plan your trip or find schedules and maps, visit www.brampton.ca slash transit. Huttonville Creek is another sub-watershed of the Credit River. The Huttonville Creek Valley begins just south of Highway 7 and extends to the Credit River. The creek provides perennial flow of water and provides a healthy and diverse aquatic habitat. Together, the three sub-watersheds of the Credit River drain approximately 23 kilometers of land in the western part of Brampton. Located alongside the creek is the Wolf County Valley Trail. This is an unpaved, multi-use trail surrounded by a pantheon of trees as it spans 
771 meters from Williams Parkway to Dalmany Drive. Huttonville Creek is composed of meadow bordering Wolf Country Valley with scattered planted and naturally occurring trees and shrubs, creating a mosaic of meadow and thicket habitat types. The riparian vegetation along Huttonville Creek is important for controlling erosion by stabilizing the banks, filtering runoff, providing shade to moderate in-stream water temperature, and providing wildlife habitat. All right, everyone. We're a bit over the halfway point of our walk and we want you to get up from your seat and join me in a few fun stretches. Ready? Let's go! The Springbrook Settlement Area is located within the Credit Valley Secondary Plan. The City has employed WSP Canada Group to undertake a review and develop a tertiary plan for the settlement area. The objectives of the tertiary plan are to develop a comprehensive land use plan that will assist the city in assessing future development applications, identify guidance for the provision of infrastructure to support proposed developments such as road connections, access, stormwater management, and municipal servicing, ensure that proposed development and land uses are compatible with existing uses in that area, and the final objective is to ensure that natural heritage features are protected and conserved in accordance with provincial, regional, and city planning policy. Did you know something as simple as sitting on your porch can make your neighborhood feel more safe? What do you do to help make your neighborhood feel safe? Did you know Peel Police can help give you tips from the Community Mobilization and Crime Prevention Units? Springbrook Tributary is the third and final sub-watershed of the Credit River in this neighborhood. Springbrook Creek stretches north of Beauvaird Road and flows downstream to the Credit River. In contrast, Springbrook is less than half the size of the Huttonville Creek. Fun fact, the Credit Valley is managed by Credit Valley Conservation, who restores, conserves, and responsibly manages the water, land, and natural habitats of the Credit River watershed. CVC is your local conservation authority established in 1954 by the Ontario government in partnership with local municipalities. CBC works with local municipalities, schools, businesses, and community organizations to deliver locally-based programs. To learn more about CBC's programs and events and find out how you can get involved, visit cbc.ca. Credit View Road has seen a lot of change over the past several years. Today, it is a combination of what once was and what is to come. Along Credit View, you pass through suburban developments to single properties on large lots almost seamlessly. Development interests will likely continue and continue to transform the narrow streets of Credit View. The City of Brampton will continue to monitor the development in areas like Credit View to ensure sound and proper planning. Here is Maybach Park, located at the corner of Credit View Road and Ingleboro Drive. Did you know? Not picking up after your pet can cost you $2,000. Keep our grass safe for children and pick up after your pet. Thank you. Solar power systems generate clean, pure energy from the sun. Installing solar panels on your homes can help combat greenhouse gas emissions and reduce our collective dependence on fossil fuel.
Did you know you can work with neighbors to get things done in your community? You can organize community park cleanups, volunteer at food banks, and much more. Is there something that you would like to see happen? Tell us. Desire paths or desire lines are paths caused by human or animal foot traffic as they deviate from the prescribed route. The paths represent the shortest or most easily navigated route between an origin and destination. Here, foot traffic has indicated a quicker route onto James Potter Road from the trail. Terramoto Park is a multifunctional park located on Chinkuzi Road and Queen Street. The park was named after the first Japanese family to move to the city of Brampton. Here residents have access to baseball diamonds, football fields, tracks, and many other amenities, including a splash pad. Did you know in 2019, recreation memberships were up 9% with over 42,000 memberships sold annually. We sure have a lot of healthy residents. Samuel Connor Pond is located on Royal West Drive just south of Williams Parkway. The pond adds to the natural space in the area as the Huttonville Creek is found on the other side of the park. Naturalized areas allow plants to thrive by mimicking a naturally occurring habitat such as forest, wetlands, or meadow. In 2018, the City of Brampton launched the Don't Mow, Let It Grow initiative that focuses on converting select areas of public land covered by turf grass into meadows and pollinator gardens. This initiative will help beautify Brampton and make it a more healthy, resilient, and environmentally sustainable city. Unlike intersections with traffic signals, Drivers don't have to wait for a green light at a roundabout to get through the intersection. Traffic is not required to stop, only yield, so the intersection can handle more traffic in the same amount of time. Luongo Park is located on the corner of Adamsville Road and Royal West Drive and is also accessible by annual circle. Did you know the city maintains over 4,100 hectares of land, including sports fields and valley lands? For more information, visit www.brampton.ca slash parks. Our health and wellness is so important. What can be done to ensure we are living healthier and fuller lives? Residents around the city organize neighborhood bike rides as a way to improve their health and wellness, meet new neighbors, and explore the city. The Reed Farmhouse is located at 118 Royal West Drive. In 2011, the property was deemed worthy of a heritage designation under Part 4 of the Heritage Act for its cultural value. The cultural heritage value of the Reed Farmhouse is related to its design or physical value as a unique example of the Queen Anne Revival style of architecture. The Queen Anne style was popular from 1890 to 1914 and influenced the design of many vernacular farmhouses. The style began in England, but quickly became popular in North America in the late 1800s. Credit Ridge Commons, the plaza located on Williams Parkway and Mississauga Road, is designated as District Retail, which allows its large size. Here residents have access to banks, restaurants, large department stores, and many more other businesses. 
This plaza is a hub of commercial activity in the Credit Valley neighborhood. Did you know, as of June 30th, 2019, 145 new businesses were supported and 223 jobs were created through the Brampton Entrepreneur Center. This marks the end of our tour. We hope you found it both engaging and exciting. And thank you for joining us on the Credit Valley walking tour with the Nurturing Neighborhoods program. Remember to like the video and submit any comments and questions by visiting www.brampton.ca slash neighborhoods. Here you will be able to access your neighborhood survey and participate in the interactive mapping exercise.